Well, you can get her kind of clean at least. I mean, it's tough during the winter time, but you guys can see here, half a mile from my house is this car wash place. And you know, I mean, just driving the truck home makes her semi-dirty again, but it's better than nothing. You know, at least we get some of the main salt from underneath the truck and on top of the truck, off of the truck. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another video on the F-150. So yeah, since this truck was stock, I mean, it's definitely gone through a pretty massive transformation. We've done tons of mods. The full mod list is always down in the description of every truck video if you're cu curious of everything that's been done to the truck. But I've already kind of sort of started to uh, get bored by some of the things that we've actually done to this F-150. And one of them is these taillights. These are Anso uh, LED taillights. I mean, they work just fine. I think they look pretty good. They definitely have an aggressive stance to them, as you guys can see here. Not everyone loves them, and I understand that, because there are indeed better ones out there on the market, and would you know, we just received some in the mail. So I've been uh, looking around on uh, my good friend's 4x4 Truck LED's website to see what's out there. And um, what I found was these Morimoto's and they look absolutely amazing. So I'm very, very excited to install these new LED taillights in today's video. But first we'll do a little unboxing. Oh yeah, look at that. Oof, these are sweet, man, look at these. Wow. Man, that is awesome. Ooh! Man, check these out. Because these are sweet. I cannot wait to get these on the truck. You guys compare here. Here are the uh, Ansos. Here are the Morimoto's. So again, big thanks to 4x4 Truck LEDs. They gave me a great deal on these. Uh, and for anyone that is interested in anything that has to do with LED lighting, even with you know bumpers, I got my front bumper for them as well. You guys actually get a discount if you want some money off your product when you use Autovlog at checkout as a promo code. But what we're gonna do now, because these are super simple, to install. We're just going to uh, remove the old ones, the ansos, and then uh, install the new ones. So just remove these two screws right here. There we go. Now look at all the salt and stuff that gets in here. That is horrible. God, I hate PA winners. So this is very simple, you just remove you know, the plugs for the brake light, uh, the tail light and the backup light and everything and then you plug the new one in. Now one thing that I kind of forgot about was this resistor that we had to uh, stick to the actual metal here of the truck that connects into the Ansel tail lights. Um, these new Morimoto's have the same type of setup, it's just that this is stuck pretty uh, good there with um, adhesive. So I'm gonna <laughs> have to get this off before we can install the new ones. All right, I found a tool. It's rusty. There we go. All the adhesive just came right off. So this obviously connects back to the Ansos. And as you guys could see earlier, it's very uh, dirty in there. So I'm gonna just wipe that down a little bit and then uh, install the new one. I should be cleaning this whole area, but uh, I'm too lazy for that. All right, so the resistor plugs into this part right here. And we're just gonna plug in the lights, two more screws. And we got one side done, this is super simple. Again, if this is something I can do for you guys who follow my channel, you know that anyone can do an install like this. Oh my god, look at that. 
I haven't tightened it yet, but damn, look at that. That looks so good. Oh yeah, that's nice. It doesn't stick out as much as the uh, Ansos did. Although it sticks out a little more here at the rear. Maybe that's just me thinking it does. Yeah, man, that looks good. That looks good. I love it. Now these are the smoked ones. You can get red ones as well. But of course, since my truck is black, I wanted the smoked ones. And man, I think it looks so good. And the lights aren't even on yet. So before I tighten the screws and everything, I want to make sure that the brake lights and all that good stuff works. And by the way, before we do that, now we can compare Anso versus the new Morimoto's. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing their name right, but that's how it spells, Morimoto's. Nice, man, I love it. So I'm gonna back the truck in here so we have a little better lighting. So yeah, looking back at the footage here, uh, it seems like I didn't match the connectors <laughs> correctly because when I put the truck in reverse, the tail lights come on and then when I get it out of reverse and hit the brake, the tail light or the, the reverse light comes on. So, good job Mike. Yeah, so what I've done now is install both of them, the right tail light, I connected the plugs in the opposite way of the left tail light. The instructions tell you to install them the way I did the left one, but that's wrong, apparently. See? So the only problem I'm having is uh, getting these plugs removed. So for some reason they're sitting like super stuck on there. So if we look here at the instructions, it says gray plug to the green plug. I've done that. That's gray plug, green plug, and then brown plug to brown plug. There is no brown plug though. There's a black plug, which I plugged to the brown plug. I thought that made sense, but apparently not. So uh, the right tail taillight works just fine. And the issue I'm having now is that I don't know if it's because I stuck the wrong plug in the wrong plug and they're hard to get out. So I just gotta use some more power, I guess. It's just that it's cold out here, so my fingers are cold. <laughs> we'll get it done, though. All right, I got one of these little bastards out. Man, they're, they're stuck in there. There we go. All right, so. Gray plug in brown, then, I guess. That's what I did on the right tail light. You just stick it in there. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Tie this bitch up. Wow, man. Look at this. Man, does that look good. Oof. <laughs> man, it looks better than I thought it was going to look. Oof. And then you guys see the LEDs right here on the side. Man, that is sick. And it's light out today, beautiful day, bunch of sunshine. I can't wait to see this at night. Lighting's a little darker, man. Look at that. Oof. That is nice. Yeah, I'm happy. I love them so much better than the Ansos. Oh yeah, this is day and night from the Ansos. Man, what a difference. So what do you guys think? I mean, you have to agree. That is so much better than the previous setup. And it's a smoked out one. It just it looks so good on this truck. And you can really tell that they're so much brighter as well than the previous lights. 
Very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there we have it ladies and gentlemen. Yet another mod installed on the F-150. <laughs> I think I had the Ansels for about seven months and I was kind of getting bored of the way that they looked and the way that the whole rear end of the truck looked so, so, so happy with the new Morimoto's. I don't know why I'm walking past the hoop to here to get here but yeah. I know I've filmed these taillights now probably five million times in this video, but damn, that looks good. That looks good without them even being illuminated. Oof. Oh yeah. Sweet. Oh yeah, big change. Big change. That's some LED lights can make such a difference. <laughs> Once again, big, big, huge thanks to 4x4 Truck LEDs for helping me out with these new Morimoto tail lights. Definitely check them out if you're in the market for anything LED related for your truck. And if you want to save 10% off your purchase, definitely use Autoblog as a promo code at checkout. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.